hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very happy you're here and I'm very happy to be here channeling for you. My name is Christine Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Virgo Tarot reading. Virgo Love Tarot reading. Virgo Love reading. And as is pretty much, yeah, always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Virgo love messages reading, channeled messages from your person, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Virgo, I'm channeling for you in January 2024. You could be here in real time, which if you are, by the way, Happy New Year. You could also be here many months, even years later, and that's because this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection, Virgo. It means there's a message here for you today. So welcome again. I want to show you the energy that is coming in. Look at that. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Six of Wands. The Prince, Princess Charming energy, Scorpio and Pluto energy, a romantic proposal. I'm really wanting to come in here. So kind of like a victorious celebratory energy they're wanting to tell you something i think they might be wanting to ask you something too let's see six of wands is jupiter and leo energy and of course jupiter is the biggest planet the planet of prosperity and expansion bringing in some hope some optimism also some information you know it's Jupiter is also connecting to Sagittarius, and of course, this is not a Sagittarius energy, but this is a pretty fast energy. It's the wands. It's the energy of love. It's, yeah, they're coming in here to communicate with you. They want to tell you something. And what is this proposal energy around? Proposals can be, of course, marriage proposals, but they're also, they're new beginnings. They're, that's way too many. They're proposing something, you know? So what are they coming in here to ask you? It can be in person. We don't really have a lot of information yet. It can also be via SMS, email, social media, maybe even a voicemail or a phone call. All the decks that are coming in are linked below. And of course, you'll also find all the playlists, Virgo, your zodiac readings, all zodiac readings, all 12 zodiac signs. Also, all signs tarot readings. Those are all signs love readings. They're love readings for the collective. If you are on a twin flame journey, there are very specific readings for your twin flame journey. They're very long and very in-depth. Twin flame readings down below, so feel free to check those out if you are inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general reading, a general tarot reading, so take what resonates and let the rest go. Virgo, we have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Voices, and the Five of Voices coming in here. Look what they're holding. So there's an apology here, too, for something that was either said or not said. It's the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius energy. They're holding up an olive branch. That is a making peace energy. They are realizing they owe you that, and I hope this is a realization that they need to bring it to you, and it sure looks like it. So is that what that Knight of Cups has in that cup? Is that the message around the Six of Wands? Because this is some clarity and this is realizing, okay, wait a minute. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, maybe, yeah, that wasn't, I shouldn't have, that wasn't, I'm hearing. What is it? Because they're coming in here with an olive branch. And that is a making peace energy. I want to get this last cut deck and we're just going to move the cards a little bit more. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so very much, Virgo. Let's see what else is going on here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what we need to see for Virgo today. Aho. It's three of Wands in reverse. It's the Lover's card, Virgo, right here in your partnership placement. It's the planet, um, well, you share Mercury with Gemini. That's what I wanted to say. This is Gemini energy. And of course, Venus, the planet of love. 
Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing, just wants to heal what's broken. So they love you. You love them, and there's a decision coming up here. What are they asking you in that Knight of Cups? We know that there's an apology coming in. They want to make some peace. They're also kind of moving past some obstacles that have been in the way. I feel like from them coming or maybe even from apologizing, some challenging energy. Maybe for some they were just I'm hearing some games, but I don't think that is I don't think that's going to be for everybody. In any case, we saw them coming in with that Knight of Cups. So we know what's in there. We know there's an apology in there, but there's also some kind of offer. They have a question. There is a decision that you're making together right here. Three of Wands in reverse, the Sun and Aries energy. So there has been a delay in terms of them coming and you coming together. You want to get this is a collaborative energy. You know, it's coming together so you can move things forward. And even also it can be around literal travel that somebody's not able to come via travel. So it's not going to be for everyone that it's actual travel because it's also the wands. It's the energy of love. It's kind of, well, it's matters of the heart. You know, and this is coming together. You need these dominoes to be together. Look, one of them's going down and some of them are up. So, yeah, there are some delays. There have been some delays here. Maybe they're trying to work something out, I feel like, whether it's actual travel or how they're coming to you. Because we see there's, they, they want some victory, you know, coming in with that Six of Wands and that Knight of Cups energy. Some type of offer slash proposal. Again, is it talking again, meeting up, seeing each other again, maybe for the first time for some of you? Is it bigger? Is there marriage proposal energy? What is around that proposal? Because they're getting ready for it here. Soulmate energy. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. These are generally not twin flame readings, the zodiac readings or the all signs tarot readings. They're specific readings for you if you're on a twin flame journey. But perhaps there are messages here for you. I think there might be if you're here. In any case, the energy is here. But this is restoring harmony. You know, they're preparing for something. They're preparing for something. It's really, whoa, clear. So <laughs> it kind of was like this and then it flipped over. Yeah, frustrated, tired of, of this no contact, no communication and or in separation, 10 of wands, energy, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. What's been keeping everything from moving? The expansive energy, getting ready to put these down. The end of a cycle, the completion, a renewal coming. It's really clear. Yeah. What can I say? You know, it's been exhausting. There's been a lot of stuff going around, going on, I want to say, in this connection. The chariot. That's too many. The strength card. Is that too many? I want to show you what's here, though. I don't think this is too many. These are yours. Yeah, this is also yours, sliding off. Look, it's the Seven of Swords. Is that the Seven of Swords? Or is that the Two of Swords? <laughs> I'm always confused by this deck. Also, we write our sevens a little different here in Europe, here in Austria. In any case, I think it's going there. We'll see. That's it's looking like the Seven of Swords to me. That's a runner. Let me look at their seven here. Yeah, that... <laughs> I know. The Three of Pentacles, Temperance. Okay, yeah. That is the Seven of Swords. And it's connecting here with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Materials in this connection, or in this deck, excuse me. It's the Moon and Taurus energy. So, yeah, they haven't been communicating. There is a kind of a selfish energy, a holding back energy, a little, some breadcrumbing energy. For me, this is can be that they're giving, they were putting something somewhere else, okay? You know, their time, communication, work, money, whatever that is. It is a withholding energy. They're aware of that too. Look, they're moving forward here with the truth around this. Also, this runner, not being honest, running from communication, perhaps some betrayal, running from the connection. What is that for you? Because it's the opposite here. They're moving forward and they're also coming with the truth. And this is also here. It's the Muse of Pentacles, the Muse of Materials. This is the King of Pentacles. So yeah, they're bringing in a pentacle here. We saw that Knight of Cups coming in. What is that proposal energy? Well, we know that there is an apology there. 
And we know they're working up the courage to come here and ask you for a lot more. And I'll tell you, that's one thing here for sure is communication. The Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy. It's a teamwork energy. It's collaborative. It's coming together. Like, let's work on this. I'm here for this. I want this. Do you want this? Aren't you tired of this being not talking? Maybe not talking and or not seeing each other. What is that? Temperance is here to work it out. Sagittarius energy. It's a really fast energy. And of course, it's a 14. It's coming to a 5. It's coming out of the conflicting energy. It's changing things. Archangel Michael just wants to... We're going to talk about this King of Pentacles in just a moment. Virgo ruled by Mercury. Archangel Michael just is the angel for healing and protection. Just wants to... Strength and protection. Healing as well, but strength and protection. They just want to get everybody... Archangel Michael just wants to get everybody on the path to the truth. The truth. Work things out. Get the truth out. Get everybody talking. Nobody's here. Everyone's kind of in the middle listening to everybody. You know, for everybody's highest good. Like, it, it's really time here. The end of the cycle, the completion of everything that's been going on, in particular, not talking. No contact, no communication, and or in separation. Getting things moving here, getting the truth is coming. I mean, it's really clear. This is where your person's energy, your specific person, the person you're here for, maybe it's somebody coming in and you're saying, oh, this is where it's the strongest. They're everywhere, but it's the strongest here, and it's chariot, the chariot energy, cancer and moon energy, and it's changing everything. They're on the move here, and it's your journey, and it can be an actual traveling energy again, too, and there's just been some delays in that, which we saw, but we see things moving here. And it's kind of like it is around some timing. It's controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. So for some of you, it might be around distance. Somebody just really wasn't ready. Somebody was. Somebody was available. Somebody wasn't. Whatever it is, the truth is clearly coming. They're sick of the separation. This runner, whether it's just from communication and or physical, I want to say, and I kind of feel like it's that for a lot of you, is coming back in here with the truth. They want to work this out. They really are saying here, I love you. I love you. Let's... Let's do this together. I want to work on this. I want to do this. Let's go further, I'm hearing. Knight of Cups energy, proposal energy. For some of you, that could be really big, okay? But it's still big for you, right? Whatever that's going to be. Whether it's, it's something really major in that proposal energy or it's just major enough for you to talk again, to reconnect again, to see each other, whatever. There have been delays. It's really, really clear. It's a lot of delays in it. You know, around some timing, I feel like. Again, for some actual travel issues. But it's very much what's on their mind here. King of Pentacles energy, you know, really going right here where they want to put that pentacle. They're carrying that pentacle. You know, it's knowing, wanting to put the time in. That's the thing. And invest, is, has timing been an issue? That's the thing. Has somebody also been maybe working too much? Too concerned about money, huge physical separation, cultural, religious differences. It just is it just about being ready, whatever. It's saying, yeah, this is where I want to put my time. I want this. I want this. That's what this is, this energy today. You're both here, look, roses, rose dresses, wearing roses, moving here toward this new beginning, this opening with roses going up into the divine. Somebody here on their way. Look at that. It's incredibly clear. And it's both connecting with the chariot and the lover's card. They love you too. Strength card. Getting the courage for that. Leo energy, also source, the sun. God, goddess, the universe, the divine. What is that for you? Trying to work something out here as well. This is an action number eight. Of course, the eighth card. It's also around some karma, so something that they're still trying to figure out. I mean, you can actually see it here. That's also infinity. Again, for some of you, you hear that and you think twin flame. Of course, if you're here, there, there's definitely messages for you. Infinity is also around a particular kind of love, forever kind of love. Just really, 
loving somebody. Regardless of whatever's going on, it's just that feeling that you'll always have, you know, like a special place. And that's also balance, infinity, and truth. And it connects to Libra energy. And that's balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine energies to get clear and truthful with themselves so they can be clear and truthful with you because it's not about gender. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies and, and sometimes we're out of whack. So they're trying to, to get that energy balance so they can just get grounded and get clear and come here. But that's also coming in from a point of balance too and that's temperance too. So coming in here and hearing you out. Uprighting the Six of Pentacles, this Minor Arcana energy, which is very much the, an easy thing to do in this Minor Arcana energy. And we see with the support of the Strength card and Temperance, who's saying, yeah, let's get some balance here. Let's restore some balance. Let's restore some harmony. Look at this. Let's just work this out. Let's ev everybody just listen to everybody else. So it's also getting that balance and, and balancing out you know, who's giving what, communication, listening to each other, the honesty. You have a really strong connection, Virgo, that sometimes I feel can get maybe a little bit overwhelming, you know, the emotional energy between you. But you both really want something more, I feel. It's manifesting kind of a dream relationship. The magician. Working it out for the renewal here. Manifesting soulmate energy. Gemini, Virgo, you're here as well. Mercury energy, as above, so below. Turning visions into reality. What's on that Knight of Cups mind? That Six of Wands. This is on their mind, the King of Pentacles. Getting really focused here, getting really what you want. The magician has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, able to alchemize everything that's happened. So that's all the things that happened really up till now and also setting things up for the future. It's the renewal, which is what they're working on here. Wanting to come right here with the chariot. Temperance, the Ten of Voices in Reverse, that's the Ten of Swords. Sun and Gemini energy, that's the Sun in Reverse, so there's a delay in it. And here's what else is here, and that came through really clear. There is, there is an apology here, so there's definitely an apology in that cup. The Sun in Reversal energy here is a temporary energy, just like waiting for it, you know? And we see that connecting to the Ten of Wands here in the upper right. So that's a lot of what they're preparing for as well. I feel, of course, like it's a whole lot more. The Eight of Inspiration, this is the Eight of Wands. Mercury, Sagittarius energy, communication. It kind of, there's a strong energy, an indication for me of writing it, as in, you know, probably archaic to actually write, <laughs> but social media, SMS, email. It's oftentimes Mercury connected to the reading and writing. But it can be a phone call, it can be in person. It really is, what's your situation? And let's see what's coming in here. Voice message, voicemail. This eight again is that action number, having worked out some karma, balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine energies, at least trying. You know, because that's also infinity and the balance. And just whatever they need to work out in order to come here for their renewal. It's incredibly clear. Look at this, right in between the Strength card and the Lovers. The Ace of Emotions, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Okay, so we saw the Knight of Cups already coming in with the Six of Wands. Yeah, there's some kind of proposal here. This is a strong indication of marriage. Do I think that's going to be for everybody? I don't. It's just you know, not going to be for everybody. We know that, but it is here. But I will tell you what is here is proposal energy. And in particular with this starfish, the possibilities and making something work, what wasn't working. So were you already building a life 
had you built to life? Was it on the table? It's definitely on the table and there's a proposal coming in. So whether it's marriage, to talk, to see each other, to see each other again, maybe for the first time, what is your situation? It's around the love and it's emotional. There's also a strong friendship here. You're getting the courage for that. It's delayed. You can see that with the Three of Wands in reverse. Ace of Inspiration. Yeah, so it could be that it's just a kind of coming out of nowhere energy. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. It's a really fast energy. It's around the energy of love. It's around matters of the heart. It's getting that idea and just, you know, saying, okay, that's it. <laughs> because we see that it's delayed. We see that they have been, I feel like those are yours. The Six of Wands is back. Yeah. So we see that it's been delayed, but you also it's also really clear for me that this is what they're coming with. They're working toward this. Look at this. They want you. Manifesting soulmate energy. There is an offer. It's just what is that offer? Because here in the lover's card, we see that it's obviously not just some, maybe somebody's coming here with the ring or something or saying an actual offer but you know it's not always going to be that way it can just be that you're having this conversation that's bringing that into it because there's a decision here regarding both of you this is the, the communication in the three of pentacles they're saying they're showing up they're showing up for it this is what they want they're on the move here they're bringing a cup a pentacle it's full of apologetic energy but it's full of a proposal too and I almost stuttered, but the Six of Wands is back. And it's also connecting here with the Chariot. Yeah, and that's on the move. You know, that's the Wand energy. It's the matters of the heart, the energy of love. It's a fast energy. It's also Jupiter and Leo. And again, that Jupiter energy, the expansive energy of moving, having figured some things out and wanting to communicate with you. So again, whether they want, they have some news for you. So what is that? They've gotten past some obstacles and challenges in those five of wands so they're wanting to share that with you it's really clearly coming in here jupiter is the planet of prosperity and expansion it's also around luck you know it's bringing in the wheel of fortune energy and that's some timing so again is it just that somebody wasn't ready somebody wasn't available or is it something even bigger you know really big separation physically Cultural, religious differences, other things, people, whatever, thoughts, interference, I want to say. Something here that they are saying that they've worked out. And look at that. They're coming here with the truth. The Queen of Voices also with the Queen of Cups. So I really like this. In particular, we're going to look at these here too. In particular with temperance because this is bringing in the truth in a really sincere way, which is also bringing in this apology and what they have to say to you. Really healing energy here with the Queen of Cups. Cancer energy around this love. Neptune energy. And again, tempered here <laughs> by temperance, Archangel Michael, who is lighting the way to the truth, who's brought in some backup, the Queen of Voices, the Queen of Swords, who really for me is also representing justice. Libra ruled by Venus energy. I always feel like she's like the protege to justice, you know, and she's here to bring, make sure that the truth is coming out from all sides here and that it's a healing energy, that everybody's listening to everybody and that everybody's leaving with, whether it's together or apart, getting everybody to the truth for your highest good with a full heart, I feel, and a healed, healed heart. But gosh, I almost can't imagine that this you wouldn't be coming together here because there's clearly a lot of love here and communication that is coming, like really honest communication, open communication and, op and a vulnerability, an emotional vulnerability, an emotional openness, availability, Page of emotions as I say that here, interesting with the hangman. Indecision has been around, they haven't been acting. It's been a real strong period of uncertainty, I feel. And I'm not surprised by some energy, maybe of some power struggles here, because your connection, I feel like you're both really 
kind of maybe it's just set in, in ways energy but there's this strong energy you know and a lot of that too is I feel your intensity that you have the feelings that you have for each other sometimes it can get intense so a little bit of power struggles here but it's kind of like okay they're making the first move energy getting out of this this is Pisces energy of course the hangman, this is coming to a three. That's the divine. It's divine timing. Communication here with source, trying to work it out. We know that they're trying to work it out. They're seeing, they're hearing. It's also activating all the chakras. I mean, everything here is going off. All kinds of light bulbs <laughs> coming here. I feel in a really different way. It's, it's really strong death energy. I know you're like, why are you bringing in the death card? Because that's what I'm seeing. Scorpio energy. It's really a lot of changes, a lot of transformational energy I feel around your person. They're really trying to figure out how to come in here. I got to tell you this Page of Cups energy. You know, look at how they feel about you, which may have been playing some part in this. I don't know how big of a part, but they're wearing a dress made of oct octopus tentacles. You know, that they live at the bottom of the ocean, deepest, deep, deep emotions. They're wearing it. Their heart chakra is, look, phew. and that's also connecting me to the death card energy. I know, but they're at, I feel like they're coming in here to ask for a second chance because this is also hoping that your heart is still open to them because they're just, yeah, they're getting out of here. How long have, has this been going on? Because I do feel that Hello. this, <laughs> I was just adjusting cards and talking and I looked up and the camera wasn't recording anymore. So I hope that I didn't miss too much was just bringing in the last messages from the Page of Cups and the Hangman that all of the deep feelings here and the tentacles of the octopus and their heart chakra just open beating for you, hoping that they haven't missed out, that they haven't lost this chance. And I just keep seeing the death card and that's because there's some transformational energy around them, but there's also some big changes here. Again, there's a decision here in this lover's card. And this is just sliding off. The Five of Pentacles coming here with the Page of Inspiration. Yeah, so they don't like this. This is also yours. No contact anymore. It's an, an energy of loss. It's Mercury and Taurus energy. It's the separation. And you see a lot of the preparation <laughs> that I feel in the Lover's card, in the Hangman. We saw the, the Knight of Cups getting on that cup. We saw them in the Six of Wands and it came back. It's like here too. Look, they're stretching. It's like warming up. And it's it really is connecting, of course, with the page of inspiration here. I don't want to cover your lover's card, but sometimes that happens. And yeah, it's like kind of like a coming out of nowhere energy. You know, it's like a, they're warming up. They miss you. There's a lot of worry around this. So I'm wondering what maybe they've been, what's maybe been going on. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords coming here in reverse. So there's a validation, strong validation of an apology here, Virgo. Saturn and Libra energy. What happened here? You know, it's around the separation, heartbreak, no contact, no communication and or in the separation because they really want to apologize. And again, this feels really very sincere. That cup, there's an apology coming, and I feel like there's a whole lot more. And again, here in this lover's card, there is a decision to make. And as I bring it forward, yeah, I mean, your overall energy wanted to be the king of pentacles. So this is a whole lot more than just an apology. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. If you ever feel you're sending one, and you're sending it. You are my person. Yeah, that's the lover's card. I think about every conversation we've ever had. Something is wanting to reveal here. I am sending you a message. Eight of Wands right here. 
on the Eight of Wands, which is kind of a little buried. I think about every conversation we've ever had. Come to me in my dreams, I'll kiss you there. You are my person is going here with the lovers. I did not expect to fall so in love with you. Truth. Also, Nine of Pentacles. Did we even address the Nine of Pentacles? I feel like we didn't. That's love coming in. Do you feel like it's taking a chance? Because those roses sort of look like, look, it's almost like, whew, like throwing them down like dice, you know, like gambling. But that's coming to fruition. The things, stuff here, pentacles, love. It's love coming in. It's one pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles, which the magician has. Where, are, where is our magician? <laughs> Why is our magician hiding here, I feel like? It's there. There's the magician. They have that tenth pentacle. The alchemist. Were you building a long-term connection? Had you built it or was it on the table? It's most definitely on the table. And of course, duh. <laughs> Who else has that pentacle? The king of pentacles here. I'm wanting to straighten that. <laughs> Thinking of you brings me peace. I really do care. Please believe me. Temperance. Queen of Cups. I feel like it's a healing message. You need to hear that. Conversations with you were the highlight of my day. Look, I think about every conversation we've ever had. Channeled love messages or song messages, excuse me. It can be your song is coming through or a song that's resonating for you. Can also be songs you don't know, you never heard of, you don't like, that's okay. If you feel you're sending a song, you're sending a song. There's always a sentiment behind music, you know, for an example, music, a song being about missing someone. Keep your heart open because you're going to pick up things that I won't even pick up, even if it's a song you don't like or you've never heard of. Locations, people, names, sort of like readings, you know? Something here or something I've said that I don't even realize was something that resonated for you. Channeled love messages. Love messages through channeled song. What do you want to say to your Virgo? Time has come again. And love is in the wind. Like some music in a dream. You made them all come true when you came inside my life. Now I'm lost inside of you. Lost in the music and lost in your eyes. I could spend all of my time hearing songs you sing lost inside of you, Barbara Streisand. So the singing part is really particular for some of you, but it's not going to be just about the singing, you know? It's the time. It's where things are right now. Love in the air energy. No, that's too many. Sorry. Sorry, Virgo's person. And I feel like they really wanted to send all of those through, but it's too many. Hold on, let's give it a minute. I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do is all right with me. Let's stay together, Tina Turner. So rest in peace, Tina Turner. But it's also kind of like, you know, whatever you want to do is all right with me. Let's stay together. Yeah, I don't think it's going to... I. This is that energy of wanting you. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. I don't know. You stick around. Now it may show. I don't know. I don't know. The Beatles something. George Harrison. Why do I feel like that's kind of coming from you? Or was that the past energy from your person? Or is there just an honest conversation here about not knowing where the future is leading? That's it. All of fate's a chance. It's either good or bad. I toss my coin to say, in love with me you'd stay. All in love is fair. Barbara Streisand and Stevie Wonder. They're hoping that you're, you still love them. Putting this with the lover's card. 
This is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. This is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. Ordinary love, Sade. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Wild, wild horses couldn't drag me away. Wild horses, the Rolling Stones. I was hearing I miss you by the Rolling Stones too, by the way. Love, soft as an easy chair. Love fresh as the morning air. One love that is shared by two I have found with you. Barbara Streisand, Chris Christopherson, Evergreen, Paul Williams. That's the victory wreath. That's the reunion wreath. That's the, the leaf, I want to say, that doesn't change color. It's evergreen. It's this feeling that's been coming in from the very beginning of, of just whatever's happened or is happening wherever you're going in this. It's just this love that's there. So they're sending that through. I really like this for you. And I just made a Dr. Seuss poem. <laughs> I'm being silly. Oh, you're in my blood like holy wine. You taste so bitter and so sweet. Oh, I could drink a case of you, darling. And I would still be on my feet. Oh, I would still be on my feet. Case of you, Joni Mitchell. If you've been with my the tarot closet for a while, you've probably already heard Joni Mitchell's version, the original version. You may have heard it anyway, not just from here, of course. But if you haven't, just in case, you got to hear this because this is for you today. And it's a strong connection to that lover's energy. It's got to be the original, not the remake she did, the jazzy remake, and not a, not a cover. Not that I have anything against covers. I'm a musician. <laughs> I don't, but... But, again... Look at this. But now they only block the sun. They rain and snow on everyone. So many things I would have done, but clouds got in the way. Both sides now more, Joni Mitchell. Yeah, this is this is your music today. It's seeing your side, too. And it's the indecision that was going on here in the hangman energy. You know, kind of, I want to say, almost high priestess in reverse. Clouded insight, blocked intuition. That is clear now. They would have done a lot of things differently, but at the time there was just indecision there. Things they couldn't see, you know, both sides now, also your side, but also seeing what they couldn't see before. And hindsight is always 2020. Is that what they say? Yeah. So they're hoping they're not too late. Your last channeled song message that I'm going to bring in some little love messages and we're going to close your reading. So it came again. Look at this. I keep crying. I keep trying for you. There's nothing like you and I, baby. Sade, ordinary love. So that returned. We're not quite at Valentine's Day yet. But I have some for you. Some early love messages. They're sending you a kiss, look, and an embrace. We're going with the lovers. Thinking of you brings me peace. This has come through twice now. I can't sleep. Up in their head. That's Nine of Swords energy. Interesting. Jupiter and Gemini energy. Kind of want to put it with the Magician. Because Gemini and Virgo are both here. That's thinking of you now. I play our song. What is your song? Have you heard it? Because there's a message in there for you. That's, that's where that wanted to go. I wish we could be together. Lovers, you are my person. We are a faded connection that's bringing in some Wheel of Fortune energy. Fate and destiny. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. You're my favorite person, so you are my person and you're my favorite person. I am yours, lovers. Your last channeled love message. <laughs> it's I stare at photos. It's like Page of Swords energy. Interesting. Looking at their phone, maybe. 
computers. Where are those where are those photos stored? You know, maybe for some of you, if you're not disconnected on social media, it can be looking on social media. Virgo, that's your reading today. It's been my honor to channel for you. I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, I would really appreciate it, of course, if you liked the video today. It helps to keep things moving here at the Tarot Closet. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Have those notifications on. I think you can put them on quietly so you know when readings are coming that might interest you. Thank you again, and thank you for being here. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you, and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then.